Hi. Supposing you're writing some Python code and you need some geological ages, um, but you don't want to hard code that stuff, um, so maybe we can grab it from the web. So let's go have a look at uh, the wiki page for something like the Triassic and see if we can grab some sort of semi-structured data uh, like this look from the info box um, and use that in our code. So let's grab that URL. So we're going to want to use that in a minute. And then we'll use a library called urllib2. And we can make a file-like object um, using url open and passing it that, that URL. And we can read that into a string. Let's have a look at that. String will slice into the first 250 characters. And there's some HTML. Now, we don't want the whole page, of course. Um, let's just go and copy. Um, uh, that that bit of uh, code. In fact, what we'll do is copy the. In fact, we'll copy the HTML uh, with those italic tags, and then we can use a library called re, a regular expression library, and let's make a string now using the regular expression function. Search, and uh, we'll look for actually not quite that uh, big long string. What we'll do is we'll replace the stuff we really want with just this sort of generic characters and that'll come out as what's called a group um, and we'll be able to then find uh, anything in those italic tags and indeed there's the code that we want now we can just kind of do something about these funny characters that's the end dash there's the second age and then there's the non-breaking space before million years ago um, so I'll just copy that part and we can use another um, regular expression function this one's called sub for substitution and we're going to look for that this time what we'll do well we'll do the same thing again let's just make a generic character string in there and this time we're going to replace with the words well space two and then another space and then that group which is going to be the second age and then an ordinary space and we'll do that in the string s. And the result, very nice looking string with uh, the beginning and the end of the Triassic. Um, we could dig into that, of course, with some more regular expressions to pull those numbers out, but this is going to do perfectly for now. So that wasn't too bad, about seven lines of code. I'm going to go turn that into a function. Uh, that would make a fun exercise. Have fun.